Hey, this is Pastor Dave, and this is your Monday Mojo. Hope you had a great weekend. So have you ever heard someone, or ugh, might have even been you, saying something like, well, it was good enough for me, it'll be good enough for them too. Remember that, you know, that kind of thing, you say those kinds of things. Things that we grew up with, and, and, and you know, to a certain extent, some of that might be true, because some of the stuff you grew up with, some of the hardships have made you who you are today, but then there are other things that are just, yeah, hard for the sake of being hard. You know that I'm a cyclist. You've watched several of these mojos. You've probably seen this bike in the background. But I want to talk to you today about, it was good enough for me, it would be good enough for them. See, this right here, this is the brake on this bike. Remember when you used to ride a bike when you were growing up and the way you stopped the bike was by pedaling backwards? and it worked against this thing here and it well it slowed the bike down to a stop it wasn't really a break as much as it was a slow <laughs> and it brought it to an end and, and you finally s slowed down now i have hydraulic brakes on my bike today when i put those things on they stop the bike so it'd be really silly for me to say well it was good enough for me then it's good enough for them no because that's not just good thinking. See, Jesus said, I've been preaching on this for the last several weeks. He said, you know, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He brought something completely different to the table because the rabbis that had been around before him, the, the religious leaders before had, had done what a lot of religious leaders, even since Jesus have done. And that is they put this, this yoke on people of performance living up to this standard, living up to these ideals. And, and if you didn't do that, then you weren't right with God. And Jesus, Jesus brought something completely different. He even looked at the religious leaders of his day and he said, you know what, you put a load on people's back that's so heavy, but you won't even lift a finger to help them carry it. In effect, they were saying, well, it was good enough for me, it's good enough for them too. And you know what, like I said, sometimes that's good. It, the hardships make us who we are, but sometimes it's just hard for hard sake. And Jesus came and said, look, there's a new yoke. It's a yoke where you understand that because of Jesus, you are right with God. You gotta believe that. You gotta accept that. You gotta live in that. And it frees you and I up to live differently. It frees us up from putting a heavy yoke on somebody else. Well, you gotta do this and do that, cause that's what I did. And Jesus said, no, no, no. It's a, it's a yoke that's easy and light and you will find rest for your souls. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind in your own life, that there's rest when we rest in the fact that Jesus is the easy yoke and keep that in mind when we interact with each other so that we don't put heavy burdens on each other that are really hard to carry just for the sake of hard anyway that's your old time break mojo for this week hope you have a good one